Hello everyone and welcome back to the collector's table. My name is Adam and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new 1-6 scale Joker maquette by Tweeterhead. So if this is your first time here, I did mention in a couple other videos that I'm giving this exact statue away uh, once we hit 1,000 subscribers and all you need to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you like what you see today, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help support the channel. And once we hit the 1,000 subscribers, I'll send that lucky winner this exact statue. Now this is the deluxe edition. This is number 38 out of 600. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. So with the box here, this is the art box, and you have some Joker text on this side, same thing on the other side, and you have the Joker kind of logo on the sides there, it's on the other side too. So pretty cool box, I'm not really into art boxes all that much, after I take it out of the box I don't really look at it again, so let's go ahead and continue to get the statue out of the box. You got some instructions here on how to handle the statue. So let's start down here with the base itself. Uh, you can see why this base really helps make this statue as cool as it is. You got the Joker bomb down at the bottom there. Uh, you also have the gasoline tank that's uh, spilling fuel all over the base itself. The base is like this broken up wooden floor. Uh, and then you also have the money bags that are just bussing cash out all over the base itself. You got the Polaroid pictures and the chattering teeth. Now the chattering teeth you can put anywhere you kind of want on the base. They, you can kind of move that around. Continuing around the base, you have more fuel tanks that are spilling gasoline onto the base itself. Now I really like how they did that, that pouring effect or that spilling effect out of the gasoline tank itself onto the base. I think they nailed that, it looks really good. You got the butcher knives that are removable and you can put them in a couple different spots. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the review. The back of the chair here, you got Batman's cape that's draped on the back of it. Uh, the folds and the creases look really good, make it look very realistic. And it's a pretty sizable piece. I mean, for a six scale piece, 
It is very tall. I think it's right around 20 and a half inches, which is pretty sizable for that scale. But I think they really did a good job on the back of the statue. Somewhere where you wouldn't typically look and they still did um, some really good detail work back here. The chair looks great. You got some really good details in the legs itself. You got the studs that are going across the, the chair itself here with um, the studs that are going throughout the chair that just add to the detail of the chair itself. You got some good texture work and the legs look really good. It looks like a very classy looking beat up chair that he just kind of took and threw on top of the money bags just because he's so crazy he wanted to create his own throne. And then you also have his uh, some kind of like joker faces or clown faces down here. Um, the chair itself is like a reddish brownish color. Uh, I think that looks really good. You got the camera that's draped over the chair's arm there with a face on the front of the chair's arm and some more of that studded feature on the side of the chair there to make it look real. And finally, here's the Joker on the throne and man, does he look awesome. I mean, this statue really has a very strong presence. I love the pose, how he's kind of just lounging about uh, with not a care in the world and he kind of does whatever he wants. Uh, this is the deluxe version, so you got that razor, the straight razor that he's holding in his right hand with that portrait. Uh, love the colors in his outfit, the yellow and the purple. Uh, the shoes are awesome. He's got the knife that's sticking out the bottom of his shoe, which is kind of iconic with the Joker. And then you have his cane that he's holding in his left hand that is uh, a pressure fit, so it's kind of... It goes to the bottom right there and you just kind of raise his hand a little bit to hold that in between the money bags and his hand himself. Here's a closer look of his deluxe portrait. He's got the smirk going on with his eyes looking out the side of his face there. Very confident pose. Love the portrait. I think Tweeterhead really did a good job there. So here's the second portrait or the standard portrait that comes with the statue itself. I think this one looks really good too. I like the exclusive a little bit more, but there's nothing wrong with switching it up every now and then. You know, statues kind of sit on your shelf looking the same way for a long period of time, and sometimes you kind of just want to make them look a little bit different. So, nice option to have. And at the top of the chair, you have Batman's cowl that's kind of torn off on the top. You have a Joker face that's embedded in the chair, and you also have a butcher knife that's holding the cape with the crowbar on the other side that's holding the cape on the back of the chair. So really like how they did that, came out very well. Okay, so a couple things to remember with this statue are the knives. You wanna make sure that you be a little careful with the knives. I was putting in these little knives and I accidentally broke one. Um, as you can see right here. And uh, it, I was putting it into the top of this side right here and it just kind of fell. Now these are not magnetic, they're tension fit or pressure fit. Um, so you have to be very careful when you're putting them in. Uh, mine fell out and it just, it fell on top of the table and it just broke. So it's very, very fragile. So that's one thing to remember. Now this is a clean break. I'm gonna super glue this back together and nobody will ever know that it's actually glued because it's a clean break. So keep that in mind. There's a spot for the knives here. These two spots you already saw. You got another spot right here. And then you also have another spot here. So didn't really realize that until after I put everything together, but that's just one thing to be aware of. Let's go ahead and get the dimensions for this statue. So it's right around 20 inches as far as the height. And as far as the depth, I wanna say it's right around like 15 inches, 15 and a half inches in depth. And the width, the width is gonna be right around 15, 15 and a half inches. So pretty sizable piece for a six scale um, statue, but I think it'll look good, especially if you have a six scale collection already. 
if you don't, this would be a really good reason to start one. So I bought this directly from Tweeterhead. The customer service from them was amazing. Uh, when I contacted them to, to check up on my order, they were very responsive. Uh, also, when they shipped it, uh, it was only $25 shipping. And with shipping prices nowadays and the cost of statues, things can get very, very pricey. So for six scale collectors, or if you're thinking about becoming a six scale collector, I think that would probably be a way to go or an option for you if you want to save a little bit of money and still collect. Um, I would definitely check out Tweeterhead because they got really, really good statues that come out amazing. Now I paid $575 for this piece. I think it's well worth it. I think for the amount of detail that they packed in such a, a small statue, actually it's quite a big statue, uh, but for that size scale is well worth the money. Uh, I would probably buy this if I was a six scale collector, but I also did get the quarter scale that's coming to me probably sometime next year. I'm gonna pair that up with my Bane for a premium format from Sideshow Collectibles and I got my Mr. Freeze. So I'm gonna have uh, this statue in quarter scale sitting in between both of those statues and I can't wait. All right guys, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out if you enjoyed the video and the review that you saw today. And another thing is, if you wanna win this badass statue, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below. And then once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll ship this bad boy to your house. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one.